Hello, I'm Dr. Zek. Maxine Helen Kingston has a very unique style of writing. She uses factual elements as well as her personal life and combines it with some stories as well as her imagination. In doing this, she depicts what it's like to live a life of being a Chinese American female. And through this, she modernizes traditional works of writing. Um, Kingston often parallels fact and fantasy so often that many people criticize her writing. In the story, The Woman Warrior, Maxine writes of five different women, some powerful and others powerless. One of the women she writes about, however, is herself. Now, by metaphorically inserting herself into the story, she's able to make a deeper connection with the reader, ultimately making the novel more impacting. Allow me to explain this in more of a modern way. Have you ever known someone who's gone through a struggle? Well, I do. Allow me to tell you a story about Maxine Hong Kingston. My girl, Maxine. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Aw, yeah. Grew up on the streets, born and free. Maxine Hong was born in Cali. Her two working parents did nothing but give. So the kids wouldn't stress and went out and lived. When she was just a young girl at a very young age, she picked up a pen and wrote her first page. It wasn't about dolls or nothing bland, rather about what it meant to be American. The years went by and the days got old. Maxine grew up doing what she was told. Rather than reaching for the stars in her dreams, she got her degree as an engineer at Berkeley. She knew then and there she had to make a change or else her life would be forever late. She stepped in her soul and took a good look. That's when she decided to write her first book, Go Maxine. Man, you don't even know what it's like to be Maxine. And let me tell you something. She's been through struggles, she's been through difficulties, but hey, she got it. Do the Maxine, do the Maxine, do the Maxine. Hey, hey, go Maxine. The story itself is divided in by parts. No name woman is where it starts. Her aunt is never allowed to be mentioned. Though she did no harm and had good intentions, and her disappearance becomes a mystery. So Maxine dreams of, of her history. Her aunt is really frail and barely alive, so when the villagers beat her, death is no surprise. Then it moves on to book number two, White Tigers, about the warrior from Moon. She looks real tough and is not afraid to beat thousands of men in a bird game. The role she plays in this fantastic play is to help women and help them fight. Cause you know in this world, equality is key to be the people that we strive to be. Go Maxine, go Maxine. You know it's book free. It talks about how women's rights were not free. You see, her mom, she went by brave. Grew up in a lifestyle where Tara always came. She was young and pretty, but a dreamer at heart. Wanted to be a doctor, but never got the right start. In this lifestyle, she always craved more. Which, by and large, leads to book four. At the Western Palace, references her mom's talks about a polygamous emperor who doesn't want to stop. This, of course, is an analogy for her sister. Moved to America in search of a mister. Finally, we are on book number five, a song for Barberry Repi, a memoir of Kingston herself that depicted years of anger and how she felt. Go, Maxine. Hey, now. I'm sure you know how Maxine felt now. Now you got the story across. Young Breezy. Maxine, do the Maxine, do the Maxine, A, go Maxine.